We're now going to build a link list based on nodes. I have a new project here, Lab2, my array list. There's no files in it. Right click, new Java class. This is going to be my linked list. And finish. Okay, we are going to implement list. And there's also a, param a type in here, and this is the type of objects we'll be storing inside of our list. And we already have our first problem. As long as there's a light bulb, there's a chance it could get fixed. Here we're gonna, we're generally not gonna bring in the AWT library, but it's the job you to list, fixes that. Uh, so here we go. It We know what a list is now, but we don't implement any of the methods, so this will implement all of them. And we could uncheck any of them if we wanted to. All right, we're not gonna call most of these, but we are gonna call the add and a few others. Let's go ahead and bring these methods to the top. So I'm just gonna cut and paste, I'm not gonna shift them up. So there's add, and I want two string, but I don't think we're gonna see two string in here. Okay. So we got public to string. string and we're going to grab some code right here. So we're going to have two fields and they're both private and a constructor right here. All right, we don't know what a node is. That's no problem. We could bring in uh, this node.java. One way to do it, you can copy, click on copy here, go to the package you want to put it into and paste. It will be uh, clickable when you do that. But what we're going to do is instead make this an inner class. And what that means is you can only use it inside of this block of code because it was declared here. So now we have a node. And if you look, it has the type of data it has is E, which refers to this type up here. So it's also another nice uh, feature to put it in here. And it also, because nodes really shouldn't be used outside of your linked list, it keeps that definition right inside. And it's a pretty simple definition. And here we have add, because I brought that up somewhere. Here we are. We can quickly paste that in. And it doesn't know what element is because that is the argument or the parameter coming in here. You can see it happen right there. Okay. So right away we got some problems. We're trying to build a new node. So we're trying to call the node constructor. And if we click on the node or scroll up to the node, there's only one constructor and it takes two things, data and next. So we're gonna need to write some new constructors and there's a couple ways to do it. We're gonna just let NetBeans fix it for us. If they'll let me click here, create constructor. And I will fix both of these errors. Oh, probably not returning a string. All right, where did that go? Here we are. Let's think about what we're doing here. We're creating a new node with some data right here. And if we want to make it look like this, we can have the same name and then just get this dot data move it down here. Uh, and we can duplicate this, bring that down. Oops. And we didn't specify next. 
So it's going to be no. All right. That'll work. And get rid of our errors. And our, we have our constructor. And I think we are ready to, let's see, add should work already. Looks OK. All right, side return true. OK, so we just need to get to string to work. And then when we test it, we'll know if it's uh, actually running or not, because we'll be able to see what the elements are inside. 